So UWL is a, a mid-sized public school. We do have a master's program, about 10,000 students altogether, and a wide variety of majors and, and disciplines. So UWL has been involved in undergraduate research kind of informally for probably for decades. Um, about 20 years ago, it got established um, with, with undergraduate research grants and symposia. We have the Dean Summer Fellows started around then, and our Office of Undergraduate Research started in 2011. So our exemplary project for the Aura Award was our Eagle Apprentice program. The benefit of the Eagle Apprentice program um, is getting students involved with a faculty mentor early on, both as a recruitment and retention tool. We, we found that 97% of the Eagle Apprentices are actually retained to their second year, and they're given a, a $1,000 scholarship. In addition to the, the funds, they're actually getting um, some really hands-on experiential learning opportunities. When I was trying to decide what kind of school I wanted to go to, even though I was from such a big town, I wasn't really leaning towards a super big school. I realized I kind of wanted something that was a little bit more personable. And when I toured here, everyone was just so nice. And it was just kind of connected with me that way. And then when I got the opportunity to do the Eagle Apprenticeship Program, that kind of confirmed that this is really a school that I want to go to. I work with Dr. Tony Sanderfoot. He's a professor of biology here, and we work with the green algae known as clammy pneumonis. And my freshman and sophomore year, the Eagle Apprenticeship Program really prepares you to write grants later. So I learned a lot of lab techniques and really getting those techniques down. And then after the Eagle Apprenticeship Program, I was able to go on and write my own grant with the help of Dr. Sanderfoot. Undergraduate Research and Creativity at UWL actually involves many different programs uh, across multiple disciplines. We have some that work in specific departments, others that are like work with underrepresented students or first generation students. So we have a very wide range of different programs. So the McNair Scholars Program is a federally funded program from the Department of Education with the goal of uh, helping first generation financially challenged students and then students from underrepresented groups into moving on into postgraduate work, uh, in post baccalaureate work, I should say, and get into grad school that would lead them to a research degree, a PhD in particular. For me, graduate school wasn't really in the picture until I went to an info session about McNair. The program really changed the trajectory of my life. It provided me the access to a Research One institution. I had the opportunity to really start seeing myself as a scholar and to engage in the work that is important to me. The FIRE program stands for First Year Research Exposure. Primary goals is, is it's really a community learning program, but it's also a retention program. And then they're also exposed to different sort of short, uh, what we call research exposures by faculty and other folks around the community about what research is. It allows them to see other areas of science and, and help them if, if something doesn't work out in one direction, they have some other pathways to consider before they leave the sciences altogether. The Dean's Distinguished Fellowship Program in the College of Science and Health is a program that allows a, or provides an opportunity for undergraduate students to get a very intensive and extensive research experience during the summer. We provide a stipend for the students to work with a faculty member for 10 weeks, and that allows them to devote undivided attention to that research experience and that research project without having to worry about working. We've worked with our foundation office and have very generous benefactors assist us in, in providing uh, funds to support students. Um, so hopefully we can maintain the, the quality programs that we have right now into the future. But one area we're really starting to focus on are uh, community engaged research uh, in the classroom. So students actually get the experience of working on a, a high impact practice, but in the classroom working with a community partner. 